everyone, Zero Jada here with the X-Play Fans Channel. Here to give you a quick taste of Oliver's Adventures in the Fairyland. Uh, you start out uh, just kind of sitting at your couch playing video games. All of a sudden, this portal opens and you get sucked into this magical world. A drunk wizard has summoned you because the king wants someone, a hero to recover his treasures. At first, you're kind of like, nah, I just want to go home. And then the wizard's like, hey, girls like adventurers. Princesses like the ad adventurers. And then you're like, yeah, I'm in. So anyways, I'm a little bit of the ways in. I'm actually fairly early in, mostly because there are some design choices in this game that are infuriating and make it frustrating and just kind of not fun to play. Uh, the platforming is it's mostly a platformer, and there are some areas where you it almost feels like it's impossible not to take damage. As you can see in the upper left, I have some hearts. I've actually I started with three, and I picked up three extra ones. Uh, this is me. I can run. I can jump. I can drop bombs. Uh, if we go here, you can actually see I have a map which is kind of, of not the best because none of the areas are really memorable. Uh, and the kind of way that they set up getting upgrades is that you'll get like, if you can see there, I got these kind of spike shoes that let me walk on ice. Uh, they had all of three rooms that were in ice area and it allowed me to jump on enemies to hurt, hurt them. But uh, the next area that had progression after the, that upgrade was across the map. So I had to walk all the way there. And then I got, let's say, the flashlight and then I had to walk all the way back that same area for progression. And the issue is, since I don't really, these rooms are memorable, I was going through these same rooms over and over and over again. Uh, so the way this game works is that, like I said before, you're trying to get through these treasures, defeat enemies and all that kind of fun stuff. And I'm actually gotten to this one area where there's these uh, dark areas and these areas are terrible. Oh, fell. Uh, so like I said before, uh, you get upgrades to get to that kind of next area and that kind of Metroidvania kind of feel. And uh, the next upgrade is these sort of are these sort of uh, like sticky gloves that allow you to kind of wall jump. The thing is, though, I actually know the next area that I'll need them. The issue is, though, once I get them, I have to get all the way back to the checkpoint or I, if, if I die, I lose those sticky gloves. And I know once I even get back to that checkpoint, I have to go all the way across the dungeon again for the next progression. So the next area has a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm going to keep going here and hop through here through here here so this jump right here you cannot get through without taking damage at least not that i have seen Hold on, we'll try to yeah so i have tried that jump probably a hundred or so times always have i taken damage and there are it's minor things like that throughout the game that has very much soured the experience uh, that, and I can't tell if his shirt is a frowny face or just a design. It kind of looks like a frowny face, but then again, it might be just kind of like, hey, there's like a little design on the tummy, and then maybe he has abs. Who knows? But uh, yeah, the platforming feels fine, except for some areas that just seem designed poorly, poorly designed, where you just cannot get through without taking damage. Or you get to the fully end of it, and then you die to say... Uh, I actually got the sticky gloves. I got all the way back and I was in that dark room and I literally could not see where I was jumping or get to the next area. Jumped down and I died right before the door, which on the other side of it was the checkpoint. And it was just at that point, I was just like, no. Nope, and more damage. Uh, for those asking, that's that. Uh, let's get actually, no, we'll just go here. So that's holding jump. That's tapping jump, exact same height and more damage. Uh, hitboxes also seem a little wonky at times through here hop through here get through there yeah we did it so i can't go over there because i can't swim all right so this is where the uh the sticky gloves are on the uh the uh top left as you can see there's an arrow pointing to the right so uh there's actually a lever you have to activate so let's do this damn it we're fine nope we're not back to your home. yeah like i said before just once in a while it just feels weird how the platforming is and dead and then we're all the way back here and we have to redo everything and that's kind of what sours the experience i understand that like hey you want it to be hard like those old nes games but the thing is the reason those old nes games were hard was because those games were incredibly short and they uh, introduce artificial difficulty to make their game longer. Uh, want a perfect example of that? Super Star Wars. That game was obnoxiously hard for the simple fact that it is crazy short. Go watch someone speedrun Super Star Wars. And damage again. But yeah, like I, I, it's just, just some parts of it 
like you'll oh, dear lord and the jumping once in a while just seems to freak out and more damage oh and i feel sometimes that i'll get near a spike and take damage when i wasn't actually like touching it and done and the thing is though I can't go and do anything else until I get this one specific upgrade. So it's hyper linear. Uh, also, for some reason, once in a while, he'll just take a few extra steps after stopping. Don't know why. It's really weird. But the this the idea of the game is good. It's just the execution just isn't good. Also, the music in the uh, this area is pretty good. That that one place was just where you're continually like unable, dear lord, you're just not unable to get past it without taking damage. Kind of sums up the game of. Oh. Also, I don't think you can actually jump on. Yeah, you can't jump on the arrows for some weird reason, and for some reason there the A button didn't work. Awesome, but yeah, it's just it's a frustrating game to play. And not frustrating and like, hi, I'm, I'm going to beat it or feel good when I get to the next area. It's the frustrating of, I got through that slog. I just know that there's going to be another section exactly like it at, a, uh, at another point. And like I said before, there are times where I, I'm 90% sure I have not touched an enemy. And I take damage or I've not touched a spike and take take uh, taken damage. But yeah, it's just kind of frustrating. And there's more damage. And I don't think it's my skill with platformers. I just, I mean, I've beaten Super Meat, uh, Super Meat Boy. Dear God. And of course, it's one of those things you get more and more frustrated. So you do worse and worse. And then you just don't want to play the game anymore. At least I didn't jump. Oh, nope. I missed time that one. We'll wait till he comes back. But yeah, it took a like at some at some point it took a real hard turn into the platforming section, and that's when it started to be like no. Because like I said before, there are there's and it's, this is not the one only area that feels like it's impossible not to take damage. There has been maybe two two other ones with that same exact feeling, and I actually had to tough it out and use just the ability to take damage and hope that I kind of bounce onto the correct platform that I want. I also think it's dumb that you can't jump on the arrows. One of the worst areas is when I was playing and I got had uh, haven't gotten the um what's it called the uh, the spike boots yet, and there was these tiny tiny little. There's also a chest here, by the way. You're collecting these uh, treasures. There were these tiny 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 little uh, ice platforms that were just so obnoxious to to get onto. There we go, we got the gloves. I actually have more health than I did last time. Uh, they were so obnoxious to get onto, and the issue is you also slid, and they were firing arrows at you. Awesome. So this is the issue I ran into last time. Nope, and yeah, it's just, it, it's stuff like that just make me, like all that work, all that annoyance, I gotta get redo it again. Even the uh, extra heart upgrades are very much locked off behind getting certain upgrades. And then again, you have to actually go out of your way to go and get them. So it's it, it does not feel like a game that is hard by design. It feels like a game that's hard because of poor design at times. Or just like, hey, we want to be kind of like those old tough NES games kind of thing. But the reason those NES games were tough, it was because they were unfair and wanted you to like, we don't want to admit that our game is like 20 minutes long. Dear Lord. And then like that. Because at this point, I'm just frustrated and be like, eh. And, and then again, I'm a person who loves it. Hey, I made it through that one. Wow. Yay. I'm a person who loves the Dark Souls games, Sekiro, uh, Bloodborne, all that kind of like, these are games are tough, memorization, kind of stuff like that. And I've played Beaten Super Meat Boy. I've played harder platformers than this. I've 
played a whole bunch of Ori in the Blind Forest kind of stuff. I'm excited for uh, the next one. This just this just does not feel like it's designed well to be an enjoyable experience after a while. But I am Zero JAD. This is the X Play Fan Channel. This was Oliver's Adventures in the Fairyland. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. It will help us out a ton. Leave a comment if you have any questions down below. Check out our other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Share share if you can. Bye bye.